Hi guys! Right, I've got a huge pet haul for you. So first, I'm going to do them in segments and put it all together. First I've got the bird haul. So I went to Home Bargains. I got the Wild Bird Peanuts. 3 99 for that big massive bag. Also the Amis can have that. Then I got some uh, big massive bag of suet pellets with mealworms for the birds and I'm going to do a mix in a minute for the bird feeder and then I got the main bird mix what I, what I give up what I give the birds which is the they won't eat anything else only this and uh, for some reason if I put other seed mix out in the bird bird house they just don't touch it so this is the peckish winter warmer so I don't know what's so special about this, but they seem to like it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly do a mix together for you and then I'll go and get the next part of the all. Right guys, I've got this big massive uh, 9 litre tub, the lock and lock one. So I'll start off by opening the package. Does smell nice. I can see why they like that one. Now that's a big uh, one point seven kilogram bag. So there's quite a lot in there. So now I'm going to mix some pellets. Actually, I'll do the pellets and the and the bird and the what's it in the other tub. So this is going to be the seed mix. Oops. Right. So I'll get a quick look at this for you. So there's the peckish. And they absolutely love this stuff. It's okay, I've washed my hands, guys. They absolutely love that, the birds. So that's that. So, uh, yeah. Right guys, so this is the next one, whoopsie daisy, my tripod's going funny. So, we shall now get the suet pellets. Half a bag in there. Now, I've not bought these ones before, these peanut ones. Because I usually get them from... Uh, as do our Tesco, but I thought I'd give them a try. Put them in another tub for the Amis. Right, so these are the... Uh, put a few more in. I need to check the dates on them in a bit so they don't go out of date. Right guys, mealworms. I forgot to show you, I also got these from their own bargains as well, the dried mealworms. So we'll open them. And we'll get them in as well. Oh! Why do mealworms smell so bad? Alright, let's get these all shimmied up. So the birds have got their seed mix and they've got their suet pellets and peanut mix with mealworms so we'll have a quick nosey at that there we go because I have uh, three trays in my bird feeder which I think I've shown you before so these will go in one section and the mix will go in the other it smells quite nice 
Uh, now, is there anything else to throw in there? No, they can all go in the... Uh... I've saved some peanuts for, uh, to go in another tub for the alleys. And I think that's it. Let's have a look. look. I'm just going to know a few lots of... There we go. Right, so that's that. Now I won't get the other stuff. So there we go, guys. Nice, healthy peanuts, mealworms, all the good stuff. Yeah. Right, guys, so I'm going to just seal this up and then uh, get on to the next part. Right, guys, so there we go. That's the birds. The bird seed, the mealworms, suet pellet and peanut mix. So all I've got to do is label them now in a minute, which I'll do. And then that's them done. And then we'll go and do the next doll right guys while i'm doing the uh labeling i'll just tell you that last night i was filming a video of oakley and this huge orb spirit orb went it would just flew, uh, well, just sort of buzz pack, well, not buzz, I should say, <laughs> but it just sort of floated in, uh, in front of the screen and passed, but it just passed Oakley. And I think I told you before, but my flat does have a ghost in it. I know who she is, never seen her, but I know who she is because I do have that bit of the gift of me, of me late mother. And, um, I thought, whoa. And when I looked at it looked at it back, watched it back, it was it was clear. It was just a round, transparent ball. And I thought, whoa. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And uh yeah, it was just weird. It was really, really weird. And um and usually you can't get them uh, usually they don't usually show up on the uh, digital cameras for some reason. It's usually old-fashioned cameras with films in it. So it was uh, extra weird, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, it was really, really weird. So, uh, yeah, so weird. Right, guys. So I've labelled these now with the dates. And now I shall go and get the box of goodies. Right, guys, I'm just going to quickly tidy up so I can make room for this box here, what's next to me. Just pull all these bags that's going in the bin now. In the bin. Right guys, now I need to tell you something about, that's just my battery charger for my lights, if you wonder what that is. Yeah, I need to tell you guys, um, the book estate, we had a few problems getting it together. And some of the, uh, some of the parts were, uh, had, had uh, what they called, chips on them. So I've had a load of palaver on, on Saturday ringing Amazon, luckily, I managed to get them to sort it out for me and um, I'm, get, I'm, get, I'm getting my money back and then I'm going to order the another one at this uh, when my money comes back in the next day or two into my bank 
so I'm going to order another one. So just bear with me on that, guys. I know I've got to work pretty fast on it because um, Bailey does need an upgrade. So as soon as my money's back in the account, I will do. I will get another one. And uh, yeah, and uh, but the the guy did the TV stand for me anyway, and he said when when the other one comes, he'll come back out and do it for me, no problem. When the other cage comes, so now. I'm having my councils doing my kitchen in, uh, any day soon. So if I disappear for about two weeks or so, don't worry. It's just that I won't be able to do any filming for at least a week and a half while they're doing the kitchen. It's going to be an absolute nightmare. So just bear with me. So, um, yeah, just bear with me. And all please due back at the vets next week for his final uh, post-op check because it'll be a month. So, right, here we go. Fire vet. I know I don't usually get anything off here anymore, and I've not got anything for months and months. And I did wait about a week for it this time, so it wasn't too bad. So we'll get cracking. Right. So, I've got these. The cheese ones, the cheese flavoured ones, they seem to love these. They like the small um, fruit flavoured lovelies, whatever they're called, but they're called yummies. I've not had a single hamster who's not like these. But there's always the first time, I suppose, so we'll put that there. There's quite a few lots of treats because I've, um, I've had to stock up on my treats. Critter's Choice Banana Buttons. I know Louisa will like these. Yep. Yeah. Right, this tripod is doing my head in. Now, I've not seen these before. Nature's Nibbles Fruit Mix. It looks okay, I guess, but there you go. It's pretty nice, actually. Won't know till I open it, but it looks like there's uh, some odd sort of shapes berries in there. Yes. Right, move this here then, I'm not going to knock it over as much. Um, super apple chips. Super papaya and pineapple. What's that? Pineapple mix. They're not all treats, so don't worry, guys. <laughs> uncoated banana chips. No, I know they like these. Super uncoated banana chips. So that's them free. They stack nicely. Uh, little one fruit mix snack. I was running out of this. But this seems to be the Ami's favourite, Louisa's anyway. I don't give the dwarfs any, uh, hardly any of these, just a tiny little piece of broken banana chip or something. So that's that. Rummaging at the bottom of the box here, so bear with me. Oh, yes, very nice. I think you'll remember me getting these years and years ago. Critter's Choice Raspberry and Strawberry Yogurt Drops. Very nice. I'll get the treats out of the way first, so I'll have a good rummage. Oh, right, what's it got here? All right. Critter's Choice Rosy Apple Drops. In there. Critter's Choice Carrot Drops. Oh, I've got 
two of these. Right. Again, Nature's Nibbles Fruit Mix. So I've got two bags of them. There we go. Mm, I did get a nice lot of treats there. And the final one, the final lot of treats is Critter's Choice Strawberry Buttons. They're just strawberry biscuits. Now I've got two different types of nuggets, pellets, which I'm going to mix together because I'm going to do my own um, hamster mix. Right, so there we go. Now you know I've done. You know I've done reviews on this, so there'll be in my food reviews uh, playlist. <sighs> Looks like Bailey, doesn't it? So cute. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. So these are the nuggets that I'm going to mix with the other ones, which I'll show you in a minute. To add to the seed mix, because I'm going to do my own mix, which I will do a video on. So don't worry, guys. I'm just working out the percentages at the moment before I mix them up. Right, so that's that one. Right. So if you want to see the reviews on them, of both of them, the next one what I'm showing you, they're all in my food review playlist. Here, you only got two more items in there in a minute. And this one. So here we go. The Mr. Johnson's Advanced Amster Gerbil Pellets. Again, I've also done a review on this a long time ago. So there we go. So I will be mixing half a bag with the full bag of these. So that's for the drawers. With some seat, with, a, um, with I think it's going to be with the... Uh, well, with the little one as well. But I'm going to leave that until uh, I do the video and then you'll see exactly what I put in my mix. Because my, even my vet clerk said, uh, uh, have you ever thought of doing your own mix? And I, and I said, uh, I do do a couple of mixes, but I don't mix them together. They're all in separate boxes. So um, she's encouraged me to do it, really. So, so yeah, so I'll do that. And then the other half a bag will go in the Syrian mix. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. So, yeah. So, I'll just get the other two items for you. Put it back on the tripod. Box can go over there on the floor. Just make room for these out the way so you can see what I've got here now. Right. Now, take, you, take me off your tripod now. Right, so I've got some of these chews because this uh, Oakley seems to like these. So, yeah, because he's been a good boy going through all that surgery. I thought I'd treat him. So, and then I've got this as well, which I'm going to make me on. Uh, What's it with it? I'm going to take these chews out and they're going to be separated and used as chews. And then the chain is going to go on the new cage with um, some other bits and bobs in. I might even put a tube through it and then connect it up so that Bailey's got a tube to run through. So, as it's dangling from the, from the cage. So, we'll see that. So, I've uh, got all this here now. There we go, guys. There we go. And then I'll go and get the next segment. And uh, I'll show you the next box. And we'll see what's in that. And, uh, and that's that done. So I'll catch you in a minute. Right guys, part two of the segment. Now, these are all from Miss Scolta. And um, so we'll go through them. Now, uh, this is a new version of Bunny Dream. This is the... 
the ones with the vegetables in it, which is for dwarf hamster. So it's got vegetables in it. It's a new, um, what's it? New, ver new uh, it's not a new version, but it's a, just a new, uh, there you go, a dwarf hamster dream expert. So yes, it's another version of it. So I will be doing a re review on that because I'm not going to review on this. And I've also, because I'm doing my own mix when I get round to it. So I've already done a review on this. You know where to find it, guys. This one's a Syrian Expert. But this one does look, look interesting. They also do a flower mix as well. So I'll do a review on that when I order it. And then I've got this. This one. There you go, guys. For hamsters, Syrians and dwarfs. So this will be interesting. So expect a review on that because I don't know what to expect. Now I'll get the treats. These are the cheese crocs. Apple crocs. Are they apple crocs? Yeah, apple crocs. Chicken crocs. These are just plain uh, freeze dried cheese. I know they're for cats, but uh, they like little tiny bits. So, yeah, cheeses. So, uh, I am still uh, hoping to get a kitten soon. So, I've not forgotten that, guys. These are the Trixie sugar free pea drops. These are the spinach uh, biscuits. These are the apple drops. These are gorgeous. I've had these before, as you know, guys. I mean, well, obviously the hamsters think they're gorgeous. These are the cheese drops. This is just for Syrians only because it, it does say it on the bag not suitable for dwarfs. I think it's because it's all iron sugar, I think. So, George used to like this. He really used to like this one. Fruit salad. And these are the fruit rings. Are they fruit rings? Oh, vegetable rings. There we go, guys. So that's all that. So that's the end of this all for now. And uh, look out for that one, two, two food reviews coming up because I'll be doing them soon. And yes, and I'll, once I put all these in boxes, I'll do a treat collection as well. Yeah. And um, oh, the Duna Maxi. I ordered it last week. I'm picking it up on Monday. Going to pick it up from Pets at Home on Monday. So, woohoo! So, expect a, uh, a tour on that one. And then, like I said, in the next week or two. So, yeah, guys, catch you later.